Don't be a chicken. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks. Alright. That's about what it's going to look like. This is the height. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put some adhesive between the, the boards and the uh, um, and the bottom of the boat here to the uh, hull. So, um, I do have a couple. I've tried to make these boards as even to follow the contour of the bottom of the boat, which is not exactly smooth, to have a uniform quarter inch all the way down. They said that uh, from what research I've done on it, they said you do not want it any kind of like a pinch point or anything to where your stringer would be hitting solid on the bottom of the boat in the event of flexes or anything could cause a crack, is what they're saying. From what I've read off uh, some of the uh, other people that's done it and advice they've given. I do have one spot in here that i got to trim up a little bit and I'll give you a little closer view on that here in a minute. But uh, this is what I've got. I want to, uh, I've got to make my other uh, bulkheads for my patterns. i got to trim these up just a little bit. Like I said, I just wanted to update you. I'm gonna, I gotta, I'm gonna cut these out, and what it's gonna end up doing is I'm gonna cut this in half. The origin, the manufacturer had it where it was just keyed on this outside one. If I do key it, I'm only gonna key a couple inches. I'm not gonna go way up and 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 uh, think in that stringer on that side. But these are the only two pieces that I've got to put cut out of my marine grade, and here. And then I'll be ready to start tapping in. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to level all these up on the top. Well, I'm going to take them out and I'll coat them all first. And I'll show you when I do that. But I'm going to bring these up to the top. And I'm going to level them, square them all up. And I'm going to give me some of them little uh, angle brackets where you just put a screw in each area just to kind of hold it. That will mark my spot and everything. And then I'll fill those holes when I'm done. And what that, my thought is with that, is I'll have this be lined up, and it won't be able to move, and I'll probably put me in just a straight board across here so this is lined up, and that way when I put my spaces under there, I'll be able to see my uniform space. But uh, I don't know that I was truly ready to shoot another video and show you my progress, but uh, I don't want to leave you hanging thinking that I gave up, because I certainly haven't, because we're going to see this project to the end. So keep on watching. Well, I slipped this on the wrong way. So it's bumping back off. Glad I didn't glue it. like this and this goes like this. You don't know why I'm making this so difficult.
to <coughs> once I get ready to start tabbing all this in I'm going to squeeze the sides of this boat back in so this one here is keyed and uh, I just make sure I'm square there and that, that's, that looks pretty good be about right there I got my brackets on here because I got tired of uh, trying to get them falling over every time I try to test them together. So, And that will help align them so I know exactly how I had them to start with. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side like that. I won't bore you and then when we get that far I'll tune you back in. We got our other side cut. Let's see how that fits. I did it right the first time this time. First, if that counts for anything. up a little. I might have to trim a little. But what I'll do is I'll take and uh, what, after I get them all in there I'm gonna, I'll shave the bottoms to kind of fit the contour of the bottom of the boat. I've done that some and the way I found the easiest way to do that is I just lay a, a, a a, per, a marker down on the on the hull of the boat and slide it across any high spots and it marks it up about a quarter inch and uh, what I've done is I've taken them out and I've shaved that quarter and put them back so this one here is actually a new stringer that I put in here the old one I shaved it and, and went by the wrong mark be honest with you and cut two inches off instead of an inch off of it and uh, so that's why it looks so nice and clean and new but uh, so I got to trim the button here a little bit and get it to fit and I'll do that I won't bore you with all the details but like I said I just use a marker I just kind of lay it right down on the on the hull of the boat and and it's up about a quarter inch and I just I just run across there so that's how I'm going to do it and we'll make this one fit and we're darn close. We're within a quarter so I would say in something this large that's pretty close. So you see what I've got today. It's uh, got them all in here. I got my corner brackets on and, and what that's going to help me to do is when I take it out what I'm going to do is turn it back upside down and then just kind of uh, smooth the bottoms a little bit and everything and then we'll get them all sealed up and we'll get them ready to go in there. I'll keep you posted and keep you informed every step of the way. Alrighty. Well there's the first eight feet done. I've got it all cut and I've made my keys for the outside and uh, all the tops is level. It's pretty uniform on the bottom. I got a few places I got to just touch up yet, but other than that, when I take it out to uh, um, go ahead and coat it with resin to seal it all in, I'll go ahead and give them a little sand before I do that. But other than that, first eight feet's done.